here is the model in Substance Painter. And you can see it's missing a couple parts because uh, what I would do is I, I don't need to create this multiple times. You know, I don't need to have uh, all four of those, just one of them, and then I just mirror it around. Um, I've UV unwrapped this, and the way I did that was very simply, except for the lava stuff. I've got the main body, I've got the button, I've got this bar here, all his meshes and all that. I've just left out the lava stuff and the lights, of course. And I UV unwrapped this just with Smart UV Project, and that was it. I packed the islands. So I let Blender do it, and here it is. I have to bake the mesh maps, all right? So I would bake mesh maps. I would probably do it at 2K. I'll use the low poly mesh, it's the high poly. I don't need an ID and bake. All right, and it's done. So now what I need to do is I'm going to come over here and you can see I've got some materials because in a previous little session on my own, I called the main body lava lamp top bot. And I was thinking I would maybe do the metal differently. Maybe that piece, I maybe do that stuff in metal. All right, I'm actually gonna do it all with the same body material. So that's the same. I don't even, if I get rid of that, you can see that. Uh, I've got the outlet there, all right? And I've got the top bottom and I've got the glass. And we're gonna have to deal with uh, all of those. So I'm gonna come to lava, lamp, top, bottom. And I'm gonna come to my smart materials and I'm going to look for a yellow smart material that I've got in here somewhere. This plastic yellow, I'm gonna drag that in. This already gives me um, a little bit of surface imperfection in there. I don't know why you can see it. That kind of a little bit of scratches and a little bit of, of uh, roughness to it. So I may decide to go ahead and use that, but I mean, it's just pretty much the same thing. All right, so I've got that, and there's that. And I'll come over, actually, I'm gonna take that, and I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna copy this layer. I'm gonna come to the, the uh, metal, and I'm just gonna paste it in. So I have that same stuff there. It's on the wire, it's on the, the bar, it's on the button. In fact, I could even come down and put it on the outlet, except I was hoping to come in here, are planning to come in here and change that maybe to like a black kind of color. Then I would have that. Okay. So that's that part's almost done. And then I'm going to come to the glass and I'm going to search for glass in here. And I'm just going to use this default glass uh, glass visor that's in there. All right. Now this already has um, an opacity uh, channel. And don't forget if you're doing this, you would have to come up and choose PBR metal with alpha blending, okay, for the shader, all right? You'd also have to come up here and add an opacity channel by clicking the plus and coming down here and choosing opacity. I guess if it wasn't in there, you would have to choose it. I've got that in there. I've got that opacity channel. All right, if I get rid of that and I need an opacity channel, I would come down here, choose opacity. All right, so I've got an opacity channel there and I get this. Now, I don't really feel like putting on dirt and grime and stuff like that. I kind of want it just clear, which is just the straightforward material. And that's almost it. The only other thing I was thinking of doing was doing the power button in Substance Painter. So I'm gonna choose an orthographic view so I can look right from the front and snap it to that view. I can move the light, all right? So there's what I've got. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my layers here. And on top, I'm just gonna choose a paint layer. And I'm gonna scroll down and I just, I want to have height, so I'll click on that and emission. Now that is another one that you would have to in your um, shader, uh, in, sorry, in your texture set settings, you would also have to add that emission. All right, I've got it. So if we come down here, emissive, if I get rid of it and I want to do an emission on here, click the plus, add emissive, 
All right, so I've got height. I'm gonna drop that down. Emission, I'm gonna choose maybe like a bluish color or something like that. All right, come back to my layer. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to alphas and I'm gonna search for that power button because they have one in here already made. There it is. If I was to click there, you can see that. In your settings, you want to have, scroll down to here, glare turned on. Turn the luminance up a little bit. And also, yeah. Under here, under the shader, emissive intensity. I've turned that up a bit as well. And all of that will affect this. So snap that. I'm going to change the size a little bit. Control and right mouse button. And I can put that right in there. And I have that already. Now that will create an emissive map. And the glass will create an opacity map. So we use all of those. And that's all I want to do for this. The rest is going to be in Blender. So once again, I could either do it in Substance Painter, as I have, or I could do it in Blender. So let's go back now and let's export these textures into Blender and decide what we're going to do. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to shift Control t come into Textures, and I'm going to choose that. For me, it was Top Bot. There they are. You'll notice there's an emissive PNG as well. We'll deal with that in a bit. Put that on, give it time. All right, I'll use the emission in just in just a bit. Let's go on and make sure to add this one for the outlet. Let's go Shift Control T. I've got the outlet done, base color all the way down to roughness. Same basic thing, just a little bit shinier. Okay, everybody's looking good. Let's have a quick look at the glass. Shift Control T glass now there's the glass but we need to do some more work on this glass all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to the materials here and I'm going to switch this to alpha blend and screen space is on I'm gonna switch that to maybe alpha clip we'll try that and we can leave that probably like that Okay, uh, I'm not sure if I want alpha hashed. We'll decide, but there's more we need to do here. So let's go ahead and, and deal with the glass first. All right, so I'm going to add a mix shader right here, like that. And I'm going to add that opacity as an image texture. I'm going to open, find opacity, there it is. And I'm going to plug that into the factor. All right, so far so good. I'm also going to add a transparent BSDF. And now we can start to see through it. All right. I'm going to do back face column and now we can see our lava through that. Now there's more that we're going to do on this. I'm going to take this mix shader, drop that in there. I'm going to add an emission shader. I'm going to turn this to a nice green color, plug it in here. I'm going to turn that up to about 10. And before we freak out here, I'm going to add an input Fresnel. Actually, you could try layer weight so we could look at both of those. Possibly we'll look at facing. I'm going to scroll through this and see what that does. 
All right, but I'm actually going to use the Fresnel. All right, you can see that. I'm going to use 0 0.07 and try that. I like that, that glow there. We're going to do a similar thing on here. So I'm going to take this. And I'm going to copy it. But just before I use that on the main body, I need to get that emission on there for the power button. So I'm going to go ahead and do shader, mix shader, drop that in there, texture, image texture, I'll put that there, and open that emission or emissive. So this was on the top, bottom, there it is, emissive. That's going to go in. But to make it glow more, I'm going to add an emission shader here in between. Let's try 10. Let's try 20. And now I can drag this over and I can control V that stuff. I'll bring it up. I'm going to have to take this out for the moment. Drop that in. Take this down here. Connect that. Let's start with five. But let's now connect the Fresnel. Now, this is a little bit of a crazy effect, but I like it though. I've upped the, the, the value of that a little bit. All right, cool. So that's the main stuff so far. Now we need to look at the, the, the lava, all right? Before I do that, I should say that in the World tab, instead of putting an HDR in there, I put in a Windows wallpaper, all right? I've just chosen a Windows wallpaper, and I've upped the strength. You can see down here, I got 4.3, and you saw a little bit of that when I went to the scene world. This is a, some wacky Windows wallpaper, all right? But it's giving me some interesting reflections in here and some interesting colors that I like. So that's something that uh, I like to do periodically. And we're gonna have a look at this lava stuff now. All right, so here's what we've got so far. I'm gonna switch the base color of that lava to sort of a bluish color. In fact, let's hide, hide that. And we're going to look a little bit at subsurf. Let's say I put that, uh, let's say I bring that up, subsurface. And I'm going to increase the red. See a little bit of the red coming through? I'll give it a little bit of metallic here. Decrease the roughness. Maybe a bit of clear coat. And we'll start with that. And then let's do some other stuff here. Let's do a mix shader. Let's do an emission. And let's make it sort of a reddish color. Let's up that to like 50. Let's try 50. Drag that in. Okay. And let's do layer weight, we'll do for now, 0 0.28 let's say, so we're getting a nice glow out of that, let's try a little bit more, take that and add a translucent to that, red again to 
that weird glow. Let's bring the glass back. And this is the effect that we're getting. I think that looks pretty cool. Maybe we'll up this a little bit. How about that? Maybe we'll increase the clear coat and even the specular. We could try bringing the metallic all the way up. That might look even neater. Let's have a look at this. And that is what we are coming up with. I'm using Eevee. My render is just 120 samples. I've got ambient occlusion on. I'd bump this up from one to two. I've got bloom on, screen space reflections with refraction. I should say a little bit that I've added a glare node in the compositor, just with fog glow and a bit of denoising. All right, so we can give this a quick render and see how she looks. All right, so there is the lava lamp with the materials created in Substance Painter, although you really could do these in Blender, and the tricks, which is basically the glow and getting the glass to be transparent and doing the, the lava uh, is basically done in Blender anyhow. So thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.